Hi, this is Brian Poole from National Trail Local Schools uh, talking today about child safe home router configuration. Here at National Trail in the high school, we have a one to one laptop uh, program allowing uh, students or providing our high school students with technology so that they can use technology rich projects both in the classroom and at home without parents having to pr provide additional resources to do that. Now, um, here at National Trail and at all schools, we have what are called SIPA filters. Uh, since uh, 2000, Child Information Pro Protection Act requires us to have filters that block internet access to harmful sites for students. The problem is that SIPA filters only extend while you're at school. So school filters cannot block content access when devices are off school property. At that point, parents must either monitor home usage or filter content at the home through a home filter or uh, obviously the last action is to just require the student to not take the uh, uh, laptop into uh, any other room that the parents not in and that's part of monitoring I guess. However, OpenDNS provides a free home filtering solution that uh, parents can use to put the same kind of filters that we use here at school on their home network at home. And that's done through a company called OpenDNS and you can just go to OpenDNS.com to get where I'm at. And if you go to the personal tab for Open OpenDNS, and it's home for free for home use, you see right here, OpenDNS Family Shield is free. It's pre-configured for adult content. You set it and you forget it. I have it set up my home, and it's really easy to do. There's a setup guide if you click on there, but I'm going to go through the, the basic points. Uh, basically, um, the best way to do this is to do like it says recommended right here for a, a home router. So you would go into your home router configuration and you would set these as the DNS servers and then every single time anyone accesses any content from your Wi-Fi device at, uh, or any Wi-Fi device in your home, they would be blocked from um, non-child appropriate sites. You can also do it per device. Um, if you want to, um, but for a family, the best option is to do um, the first thing, and that is to um, configure it for the home router. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this, and, and uh, if you go here to the home router configuration, it walks you through a variety of different uh, routers that you may have in your house. Uh, you can also, if you've got a TP-Link, which is what I have, go through here um, through the TP-Link site and you can see an emulator and that's what I'm going to show you right now, an emulator um, for your router. So I'm going to go ahead and go to one of the Archer emulators here. So I just opened the emulator for my router. Now the first thing you have to know is how to get to your own router and you have to know the address of the, your router inside your network and there's a couple different options um, for routers. Usually your router is on something like 192.168.0.1 and if you put that address up on here, you'd go to my router at my house. Uh, it's also possible for some routers that it's 0 0.254. And the way you find that out is when you're on your computer, you can request the address for your router um, simply by going to the network configuration page. So to get to find your own router, first of all, to know, to know the address to get to this point, uh, the easiest way is to just hit Windows R to open up the command prop and hit type in CMD and it brings up a window and you type, e, ten, type in IPCONFIG. It stands for IP config. You hit enter and where it says the default gateway right there, now this is at school so you're not getting the same thing, but it'd be a 192.168 some number and it should also be in the manual for your router, by the way. And you would put that in up here in your address bar, and you'd come to something like this for your router. Now, this is a, an emulator right here that we're looking at just to kind of show you how to do it. Now, if I basically, somewhere on your router configuration, there's a network set up. And somewhere on there, it says primary DNS and secondary DNS. And all you do is put these addresses right here into those primary and secondary DNS address sites on your home router you hit save the router will reboot and then after that and of course this is an emulator so it doesn't really save but if you after that it would say it's rebooting after it reboots then everything all your internet traffic from your home would then go through these two addresses here which prevent 
going to any porn pornographic site. So uh, it is the best way to set up uh, Family Shield at your house. It's completely free and it's relatively easy to do. So the steps there to do that are to find your address um, of your router, put the address in the browser window of any browser, whether it's Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, doesn't matter. And it's that 192.168 address that, that I talked about. And then find where it says the primary and secondary DNS addresses and put these addresses in from OpenDNS and you will protect your family from um, that kind of material at your home from then on. And that's it. Now, 